Okay, here we are to do a review of the IMAX Space Hail Columbia. Now, um, basically, I thought this was, wasn't there, was I wrong with the space shuttle name of the one that crashed? Or was it this, uh, was it a later date, maybe? I don't know, but this wasn't no crashing or anything. All it was was a takeoff, and it was like an IMAX thing to show you. Um, before you do anything, I showed you this before. That's pretty cool. It shows you all this kind of stuff inside of it. Um, let's just say that it was very short. It says about 36 minutes on here, which was about right. And if you look it up on the Laserdisc database, it says about 40 minutes. Um, it was okay. Here's the bad part. And it's the second one I got from the time capsule that has a Laserdisc rod. Partial. I have to say it has a little less than the Blues Brothers Disco Vision. But that disc was an early, early year Disco Vision, which was, I think, 1980 when it was made. And it was, then, this isn't called Disco Vision. This is called Laser Video. Or what does it say on here to make sure? Um, Laser Disc, it says on here. So, and it's CAV. So there's only a certain amount on each side. But to tell you the truth, from using CAV on this, I see no quality difference between anything else. And it's supposed to do that. And offer you an array of options such as still frames and stuff like that. My laser display doesn't even support most of that stuff. So I don't even bother to check the pause or anything. So I kind of wasted a DVD backing this one up, I'll tell. I'll tell you, it wasn't worth backing this one up. But um, it was a decent film. It's just, you know, Laserdisc does a lot of these, just like they made most of them for DVD. But Laserdisc does a ton of space planes and all kinds of different videos. I have a roller coaster one I'm, I'm going to review soon. And um, it's a Japanese one, Japan one, whatever you want to call it. And um, I have all kind. I have another one after that, too. I forgot what it was called. Um, it's a, called Speed. So there's all kinds of different stuff that, that are here. And they make it into a bunch of chapters, 18 different chapters, including the end credits. I think they could have just condensed it a little more than that. But um, other than that, it was pretty good. Um, the, the sound was incredible. Even on just like one channel or two channels or whatever whatever I have in my room, the sound sound excellent. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.